so we have um, to get to figure out if this uh, retirement system if the retirement income is a linear function of the number of years of service okay so years of service and, and again the, the problem with this question is we've got to make things up uh, we've got to make up a whole bunch of stuff just to uh, figure this out so years of service um, how many give me some years of service for a teacher Right, or I mean, if a teacher's nearing retirement, they they might have put in how many years of service? Like fifty. Right, fifty. Well, that'd be a lot, but yeah, but you know, I mean, they might work from age, let's say they work from age thirty to sixty, right, or age twenty-five to sixty-five. That's a long career, or age thirty-five to sixty, or something like that, right? Yeah. So this would be 30 years, this would be something like 40 years, this would be um, 25 years. Does that make, does that sound reasonable? Yeah. So something along those lines, right? Just to kind of keep it somewhat resolved. So what if you had, say, 20 years of service, 25 years, 30 years, 35 years, something like that. So these are going up in fives and we'll do some retirement income. And again, we have to make it up, um, you know, so, so, so for a teacher, they might get their my average last three year salary could be forty thousand, it could be fifty thousand, it could be sixty thousand, something like that. Sounds reasonable. I'm gonna pick fifty thousand. So zero point zero two times the number of years of service twenty times I'm gonna pick fifty thousand. Um and we calculate that, um, that should work out to be, uh, yeah, because it's a, uh, 20,000, right? Um, Sorry, I can't, can't help doing it in my head. Um, sorry, let's get this out of here. Whoa. So about 20,000. But then if they did, and so, so the question is, is the retirement income a linear function of the number of years of service? In other words, if you do five more years of service, uh, you know, will, will the increase be the same? So let's do this, 0 0.02 times 25 times 50,000. I don't know what I, why I'm not using a calculator. I should do that. Um, times uh, 25 times 2,000. So that's 25,000. And this is per year. And uh, don't worry too much. I mean, folks get retirement income often on top of social security these are low incomes but okay so for 30 years we got 30,000 and then if I did this one, I, I'm, I'm overdoing it here. You guys don't have to do this much, but I'm just overdoing it for fun. And that will work out to be 35,000, right? So, so what I want you guys to notice is that as the years of service go up by the same amount up in fives, and you guys could, could have different numbers. You could have like your years of service going up in ones or whatever. Um, you'll notice that the um, retirement income is going up by five thousand dollars each time. Okay. Right. Right. So in this case, it's in fact, if I divide, I'm just for fun. If I go five thousand over five, I get one thousand. So in fact, in this particular example that we just made up, um, for an extra year of service, the teacher gets an extra thousand dollars per year in retirement. That makes sense.
Okay, so it is linear. And a lot of students will say it's not because there's a percentage involved, but that's not true. Percentage is just, that's just the, like the decimal we're multiplying these numbers by. But yeah, for every, um, you know, so, so it's going up by, by the exact same number, um, you know, $5,000 each, each step. So that is a linear function, yeah.